Let's start off with some fun Star Wars news, where NASA says that the design of some of their robots aren't that realistic. Brett Kennedy, a NASA roboticist, says that BB-8's single spherical wheel would make it very hard for him to move on any surface that wasn't completely flat. He did say, however, that C-3PO and R2-D2 are actually fairly realistic. R2-D2 takes quite a few designs from real-life engineer robots, and even C-3PO has many factors of real-life machines, like his language translator and direction capabilities are in our smartphones now. I do hope Apple is working on a humanoid version of our phones, though. In some other news, after four movies and $1.3 billion later, Lionsgate Entertainment wants to create prequels to The Hunger Games. In the four films, we were restricted to the 74th and 75th, but in the books, there are many other fights from the past and many other past Hunger Games we never saw that could show us. There isn't any set date for when production will start, but it does seem to be in the works now. And it is unknown if Jennifer Lawrence will appear in these films at all as Katniss. But recently, Jennifer did say she was interested in moving into a more directing type of project. Lastly, we have some news about a new fan film about the roller coaster tycoon video game. If you never played the game, it's just the perfect game to create unfinished roller coasters that lead to death and endless amount of puke and trapping visitors in a labyrinth of death coasters and pointless buildings. The people at Andrew M. Films made a short film about a day in the park as a normal person. So what do you guys think? Would you get a C-3PO smartphone? Do you want the Hunger Games films? And would you ever go to a roller coaster tycoon theme park? Let us know in the comments down below. Now, every time I see a mirror, I look at myself and start singing this song in my head. You're beautiful in every single way. It's good that you tell yourself. Because it's a huge lie.